Hello, Tarnished. Stoic here. And this is my 300,000 runes per hour guide to Elden Ring. The farm starts here, at the Ferrum Great Bridge Grace in Northeast Caled. This location can easily and safely be reached from the start of the game. Rest here at the First Step Grace when you first enter the open world. Then head north to the Church of Ella Grace and rest again. Here you will find a merchant. Then head north to the Gatefront Grace and rest here to get your mount. The Gatefront Ruins can be farmed for the best shield in the first half of the game. It will be useful to melee users during this farm. Then follow the main road riding southeast over the bridge. Then follow the road northeast to the third church of America. Behind the church, marked here, in the water, hidden behind some plants, you will find a way gate. It looks like this. It will teleport you to the bestial sanctum here. Do not attack the creature guarding the entrance and it won't aggro. Follow the road south to the starting point of our farm here. On the map you will notice I have marked the spawn points of the enemies to be farmed with swords. Screenshot this if it helps. To the south on the bridge is a dragon. Avoid him for now. To the east are a lot of poison traps marked by a path of skulls. The path is flanked by lots of these enemies in tight quarters between a cliff face and a cliff edge, so avoid this area. Now, these enemies drop 1,094 runes each. Occasionally, you will see them with glowing eyes. That means they will drop four times that amount. Also, if you see a skull on the ground that glows, ride over it with torrent, spamming the loot button to pick up the level one golden rune consumable. These can be used at any time to give you 200 runes each. For items, these enemies drop a Shotel Halberd and a Saw Halberd. These both sell for 100 runes each. They also drop these knives. They sell for 50 runes per drop of 5. You can only hold 30 at a time. Any additional you pick up will be auto-saved to your stash. Remember that when you go to sell these. Sell them to the Church of Ella Merchant, and rest at the Grace there to auto-restock them. This is the fastest way to sell through them. And finally, they drop this armor set. Each piece sells for 10 runes. So now, let's get a feel for how to engage these enemies. With sorcery, you can range them down with glintstone pebble like this. For melee, they can be backstabbed, but that shield I mentioned earlier, with its 100% physical damage negation, is a must if you can't one-shot them. It's the one on my back. Also, while they don't drop a Faith Seal, they do cast the Beast Claw spell. Be ready to jump it and land a heavy attack to open them up to a critical if you're fighting them on foot. Avoid tight groupings of enemies like this until you get some levels and a feel for their varied attacks. They are super aggressive and they can easily one-shot you. This farm starts to feel grindy around level 80, so at that point I'd recommend returning here only when you have something specific that you want to buy at that moment, or when you obtain a large number of runes through normal gameplay and want to finish off a level. Do this before taking on any new bosses where you might risk losing your runes. So that's it. Concise, thorough, and hopefully helpful. Linked in the description will be more videos just like this one as I make them. Feel free to subscribe if you want more Elden Ring content. And until next time, stay stoic and enjoy this masterpiece of a game.